Well, yeah, I mean, these picks are quite unorthodox, Arashi, especially uh, yeah. looking at the Burmese ghoul side here. Even the bands have been quite crazy themselves. That's all right. We're seeing a lot of crazy bands here, but the Selena first pick comes through. Burmese goals picking it up. And again, this is a very unique meta, a unique style of play that the Burmese Ghouls are trying to go for. Selena first pick, haven't seen that in quite From a while. From the Bigatron era and the Rafaela. That's definitely going to be the Roamer. The Nana is going to be secured, locked into by the Burmese wow. Ghouls. But the Cho to add as that lockdown, the single target isolation. And now, you can see it got Totkache, I believe, being banned out by the Burmese Ghouls. So they're still banning a lot of, I guess, global pressure, a lot of crowd control as well. But... As you mentioned, these are some very unorthodox bands. It's a very it's a very unorthodox coaching style too. It feels like Susugaji is doing acrobatics right in front of <laughs> us on the camera there as he goes for the band. It's gonna be the veil that gets uh oh. banned out here, considering they already have a Nana and a Selena. It is an interesting band. Feels like Susugaja is just chilling out here. Hover over. Again, we don't know if it's gonna be locked in, but that's gonna be the Martis locked in for the jungle roll. Just don't forget to pop that retribution in. That's a flicker still. That mm. is in the battle spell uh, slot, but I am really curious to see this final pick. It is going to be a second mage, so you're right. The hunch that Susugaja had as well was uh, correct. As we mentioned, three mages. This is a new mage meta. We'll see how effective this is, especially if Bigatron are all clumped together trying to dive in. 12 seconds later. We're going to go straight into the line of dawn, it seems. Right? Yep, we're diving in. Whoa. Instantly, whoa, already crazy fights going on in the enemy jungle. City is actually going to be on the fanny. First blood over to the Burmese ghouls as they try their best to secure the purple buff. Fumi Echo is the roamer. Viva is the mid laner, so scratch all that, Arashi. They have changed a lot. Venus going to be able to find that Jeet Kune Do. Oh, be able to dash, disengage as well. Vivian finds it, flickers forward, gets a stun onto two members, and that's a kill over to Viva. Fumi Echo secures another. What is this? The Rose Arashi, what's going on here? Viva uh, is in the mid lane. I have no idea, man. The Burmese goals just go all in, trying to get the the invade onto the purple buff, but Vikichon were able to secure it. Granted, it's not in the hands of what? who it's supposed to go, but Vivian right now, getting the purple buff and getting one more kill. Vikichon trying to match fire with fire oh my right Goodness, here. that's an arrow from Chill. <laughs> There's non-stop action right here, and Vicky and Era, despite having the uh, less amount of engage, they're actually coming up on top, but oh, look at no. this play! Oh no! Playing! <laughs> no! Oh, it flickers over to the Fanny who picks up the kill! And Bigatron, Era are still in the lead! They still haven't left the mid lane, Hiroshi! Oh my god, again and again, it's the same thing, and now Gumi's goals, they're still trying to go and contest this purple buff, it makes sense logically, but Sini is still trying to actually make all the plays happen, there's not enough pressure coming in from the Burmese Ghost. Sini gonna be falling here in the purple buff, that's a two-man stun with the Mystic Field, but the decimation from Ku finds another. Chell now jumping in, that's oh. gonna be another kill for Ku! That's a triple kill for Q, and she's going in for a rampage, another one, but she gets shut down under the tier 2. Vival picks it up, walking through in the bush against Seiko, melee range. And it's going to be an equalizer for the Burmese Vivian Ghoul 2, the rover. <laughs> she's actually split pushing the mid lane here. Uh, she's able to dish out quite a bit of damage for that on that tier 2, and she looks to disengage Ku still. Looking for some more here. She, what? And remember, she brought the execute on the Martis, so there's no purple buff taken for her just yet. Wait, do we have a remake? What's going on here? It's going to be a surrender for the Burmese Ghouls. I'm not too sure what just happened there in game number one, but Bigatron Era will be able to take the game. Did they? I, is Not it a remake? I have is no it, idea. Is it the retry issue that you called out? Exactly. Uh, well, no way, right? Bigatron Era is your winner, so... It's not a remake. It is... It is just... A, it's a surrender. I think this is the first surrender that I've seen in a competitive match in an international tournament, but Bigatron Era, congratulations for the win. Seems like it is going to be official here that it is Bigatron Era's victory as we take a look at the item builds here. Yeah, just no physical defense. Uh, Venus got the steel leg plates towards the end, but I told you it was just cool. And she was the corrosion, uh, the cursed helmet as well early on. So very aggressively built from Venus. And again, against uh, the team, uh, a team that wants to go aggressively, that's just matching fire with fire. Maybe it's a bit too bold. Maybe some defenses need to be set up first. 
I mean, we saw that Ku with the Antikyras was able to actually sustain and survive a lot longer compared to Venus on that show. So without that setup on their hands, it's just a lot more difficult. Whereas if you, uh, in contrast, if you look at Vivian.